All right, good morning, everyone. Another gray day, hopefully no rain. Still gonna be wind, but uh, I'm looking forward to it. So our first destination today is the very world famous Cliffs of Moore. 181 kilometers today, not a big deal. Sure, it looks like it's gonna rain, but it's not. It's 8.41 in the morning. I have to look up what the different uh, letters in the back of windows mean, like N. I don't know if that's like a new driver or something or a specific region. I assumed when you have an L, it's a learner. There's a L in the windshield there. So I'm assuming again that they have like a learner's permit. Wind is still brutal today. It's definitely as you approach, approach the coast. It, uh, it gets stronger and stronger. Oh. Oh. Now that is a fun looking golf course. Beautiful shape. Oh, there's just part of a corner of a building. Pardon me while I just ride through your golf course on some sand from the dunes. Just smell the ocean. It smells so good. Definitely, you can tell it's a bit of a touristy area. They've got a lot of uh, signage. So we've arrived at the visitor center. Hi, how are you? Come on, turn off you. Nice and quiet. There we go. 12 euro. It's like taking a snowsuit off every time I get off this thing, so. Thank you so much, have a great day. It's 12 degrees, heavy winds, so yeah, it's cold. I think I'll throw an extra layer in my bag. Uh, you know, the past like five days, Cold, we packed everything away. Here we go. We're gonna walk up. A little dent. We're down on it. Little... It doesn't look like a terribly long walk, but it's a walk. It's actually a little bit protected down here by the visitor center. I had no idea they'd have Wi-Fi. They actually give you a free password. <sighs> So this is the first point you walk to. <laughs> now the ones that I didn't get to the other day that it was just too bad of weather, the Sleep League Cliffs, apparently much, much higher than this. You can tell why they're so famous. It's just beautiful. Get the heart pumping. Oh, it's cold. Unfortunately, it's not terribly busy today. I've heard this place can just be jammed. But, uh, you know, it's only like, what, six, six, seven buses there? And the parking lot's only got maybe 40, 50 cars in it. It's pretty cool. There's a, uh, a tower type structure just up ahead, so we're gonna take a walk over there. It really is incredible. I'm gonna move along. It's absolutely impressive though. The, uh, I was gonna say, the reason why it's world famous. I didn't think there would be a lot of busters here. But there are. I have a feeling on a good day, there's probably a lot of buskers here. Well, that was great. That's so amazing. That was Cliffs of War. I wish it was a little better visibility. Amazing. I think I might have got a picture. But uh, absolutely the stop. And it's nice that uh, we managed to beat most of the 
Most of the tour buses wasn't terribly busy. It's certainly filling up now though. Look right, go left. All right, well, that was really awesome. Oh, there's a nice walled castle. Super cool. This road actually said no campers. I guess he doesn't want to stop. Super cool road. Got two old gents walking here. Sunlight, and it isn't terribly well. It's windy, but it's not terribly windy. Like there are castles everywhere. Isn't that pretty awesome? Top of a hill like that. Wow. Welcome to the Burren. Amazing. There could be another tomb over there. It has hard to say, it doesn't look like it was uh, put there by nature. It's hard to say. Got that water coming in. I'm gonna pull over here. Smells like the ocean. So good. All right, so I'm assuming at some point here we're going to be turning towards the uh, Burren and heading back up into the hills and cutting across. Yeah, so we're essentially right where we were yesterday. A lot calmer today than it was. So yesterday we would have come where that car just came from. Look at that bus go. It's insane. All right, we're uh, coming up to a place called Corkscrew Hill. I just saw the sign. And that is supposed to be a bunch of hairpin turns. If that bus can do it, I can do it. <laughs> I sure hope so, anyways. It 
is a corkscrew. I wouldn't want a bus to meet another bus on a corner. I wonder if they have an unwritten rule where you go one direction. This is tons of fun. Tons of fun. I wish I had my drone. I would park it here and go down with it facing down. That would have been cool. Oh well. Don't crash your drone next time. That was fun. Got 76 kilometers left, and I know a good 35 of that is getting back, so it's uh, nice that I didn't need my rain gear tonight. But I gotta say, I'm very thankful I had it the last few days, or four days, or five. This climb gear is pretty fantastic that I've got, and like I said, uh, if you do a Celtic Rider tour, you can rent this kind of gear from them here in Ireland, you don't need to bring it all the way with you, and if you don't own it, then you're all set. Uh, the only thing I might change out is my gloves, and it wasn't their fault they got wet. It's just from getting on and off the bike and taking them on and off. Your hands get wet, you put them inside, they get wet. Uh, the biggest issue I had is these are really old models that I had for rain gear, and they, uh, I guess it was before they kind of bonded the liner to the actual glove. And uh, so it was a bit of a pain in the rear to put them on, but I got my summer gloves on right now, and they're uh, they're just awesome. Uh, highly recommend it. Uh, never tried any other gear, so I don't know how they compare to other stuff. Uh, I've heard good things about Revit. I think uh, you know I'd be interested in trying it out someday. Well, welcome to the Bunratty Castle and Folk Park. So I made it all the way back to my accommodations in Bunratty. Had a moment to uh, have a snack and a banana. And, oh, I'm gonna just say it, I had Tato's. Oh, just came in through the wall. This keep is massive. Bunratty Castle is the last of four castles built on this site. Originally a Viking trading camp in 970, it is a 15th century tower house and is considered to be the most authentic and complete castle in Ireland. Wow. This is three flights of stairs up. I wonder if all the wood is original. And there's five floors from the main entrance and I'm sure it goes down. Wow. Pantry. It's crazy how tall this is. So cool. Oh my. <laughs> it goes way up. So I'm not holding my hands. <laughs> oh my god, look at this. Five heights. <sighs> We're on one of the quarter towers now. Look at that. I'm at the top of Blood Rally Castle. And there's no damn bar up here. Uh. <laughs> Just to give you an idea, I'd say this might be two feet across. It is extremely steep. There's my foot on the stair, just so you can get an idea. Uh, it's another. 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 Uh,
it's impressive how much of the castle is accessible. It's unbelievable. And the fact that they're letting you go up and down with those little tiny railings. That's how tight it is on the way down. And you can see everything goes to the, to the, to the left because if they ever were attacked and somebody did get inside, like all castles, they built them going in that direction so that right-handed people could actually swing their sword and the people coming up could not swing their sword because they're left -handed. they'd be on their left. So it was an ingenious direction to build all these stairs. There's, uh, I think everybody's arriving for their uh, big banquet this evening. This is uh, this is that room. Oh. <laughs> oh, there's a trail. So I guess we walk around the front side to get back into the basement. Bunrati Castle. That was pretty cool inside. Like each castle that I've seen as I've gone along gets progressively bigger and bigger and bigger. I've got this young lady actually in the shot and I think that's a nice contrast from the age. That's, a, that's the only thing I got in there. I managed to get to just to her with all the people going in and out and uh, I think that's going to be a nice contrast. So cool though. My god. Like that's, that's the real thing, man. But there's so many crows here. There's a thatch roof building. Little geese friends. Hi guys. This is a replica of a fisherman's home. The blacksmith's forge. I don't think he's working today. Oh, but it sure looks like you can. So a family that would farm about 100 acres. It's somewhat prosperous. This is a replica of the building they would live in. It's pretty big. I feel like I might have to worry about white walkers as they get quiet. Belvoir National School, 1835. Wow, look at that plant. This folklore park is incredible. It's so much fun. Look at this little guy. Look at him. Hi. It's kind of hokey, but I, I wish I had a whole uh, kind of afternoon here. I think it would have been fun. Oh, hi. Hi, how are you? You are so tiny. You are so tiny. Hi. It's kind of like a street you'd find at Disney. But nobody's here. And all these shops are selling what they sell. Like, I think I can go to that bar over there and have a beer. I absolutely could. I don't think I need a beer yet. Not quite done for the day. It's like a sweet shop. Posters and stuff of the Quinard line. I don't know if this one's a beer. Establishment as well. I want to come back here. Or find something like it. Isn't that gorgeous on the building? I think the woman was just saying it's called Wisteria. And now we're going to the pottery shop. It's been a long, long day. And we're meeting as well. Love this building. I think this place would be a hoot to come to in the summertime with a group of people and just uh, enjoy the spectacle that it is. <laughs> I have just enjoyed the heck out of this place. So much fun. If you're ever in Bunratty, come to the Bunratty Castle in Folk Park. 17 euro or something like that. Just so much fun. Look at this. There's birds that live in these little holes with their babies. So cool. I think it's time to find some food and head back to the accommodations for a nice uh, relaxing evening because tomorrow I move again. So uh, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. 
hit subscribe and we'll uh, see you in the next one. Have a good one. On the next episode, we're gonna hit the road and we're on our way to Killarney today. And our first stop is a ferry ride. That's kind of fun. I ride up into the mountains and navigate a very narrow pass. This car over here is waiting for his turn to go down. Good boy. You can see the GPS, but it's clearly got me on this track that I'm sitting on. <laughs>